Yes. I will comply. Affirmative. Sorry about that. This is quite agreeable. You're going down! That had to hurt! I'm on it. Thanks for playing. Look up! Help! I can't hold out much longer! Affirmative. All right. Indeed. Will do. Take your bed, beauty! Sometimes I don't have my own strength. We got trouble! I'm large and in charge. You're going down! Combo!
Let's see what you got. Indeed. Yes. Appreciated. I'm not sure how much longer I can hold this ship together. Let's see what you got. Combo! Did you slip on something, huh? Combo! I don't have enough power. so tough. You're going down. Need more power to do that. Help me, X-Men. Yo! 
all work then, so. Time you freaks learn to listen. Heads up! Combo! Combo! I will comply. Got it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Sugar. You bet. Y'all get over here and help me. Let's see what you got. Thanks for playing.
Okay, let's go. Too late. I can't keep the ship afloat any longer. Whatever it was the Brotherhood wanted here, they're going to die for it. And if we don't leave right now, we'll drown too. Get ready! Here he comes! Yes, sir! Deborah Owens for RBN World News. Our top story tonight, the attack on the USS Arbiter. Earlier today, a terrorist group known as the Brotherhood of Mutants boarded the Arbiter and forced their way into the lower decks. Once there, they released an elect burst that severely crippled the ship. Officials were quick to point out that even though the Arbiter sank, there was no loss of human life. This event gave General Kincaid more fuel for his anti-mutant sentiment. At a press conference, the general said that should things continue in this vein... Homo sapiens, we stand upon the edge of a brave new world, and evolution has found you lacking. I invite all mutants to congregate at the mount. Together we will force the Homo sapiens to make way for their true masters. Homo superior. Things at the mansion have become really tense now that Magneto is free. Professor Xavier spends a lot of time with Cerebro. Cyclops is super uptight, and you can't talk to Wolverine without him trying to take your head off. It feels like something really bad is about to happen. Still, as stressed out as things are, I'm surprised to find I'm starting to think of the mansion as home.
Guten Tag, Fräulein. I trust all is well with you. A little light reading, eh? St. Thomas Aquinas on politics and ethics. Ah, uh, yeah. I find St. Thomas helps me when I start... You're an ex-man and you still feel lost? Oh, yeah. All this turmoil over Magneto and the mutants and humans... It makes my heart ache. I dislike the fact that we are all rational adults, and yet we still cannot live in peace. Do you read a lot? Yeah, I am at home among books. And I am guessing that you are too. How could you tell? I have found that people who read are able to look beyond the appearance of other people and see them for what they truly are. And you are such a person, yeah? Sort of like not judging a book by its cover. Indeed. So you grew up in a circus? It was exciting and it was terrifying. And God was watching over me when the circus found me. For I would not have it long anywhere else. What do you mean? <laughs> a furry blue child with a pointed tail has limited options in the outside world. But put him under the big top and he becomes the amazing Nightcrawler. A box office sensation. Have you ever battled a sentinel? Ugh, I remember one in particular. Um, off Vader Zane, <laughs> Nightcrawler. <laughs> Ist ja schön. If I did not know better, I would think you are German. Hi, Allison. What's up? With Magneto on the loose, he was really uptight. Tell me about it. At lunch, I took the last ice cream sandwich, and Wolverine threatened to cut out my heart and eat it in front of me. Normally, he just threatens to cut out my heart. The X-Men have battled for, haven't they? Plenty of times. We've had a lot of close calls, but somehow we always wind up beating old Buckethead. So you're not scared of Magneto? Heck yeah! He scares the icicles out of me. The guy's really powerful and a borderline loon. But we'll beat Magneto, right? I'd like to think so, but this time feels different. Magneto's never been so sure of himself that he went on TV and declared global war. I'll see you later, Bobby. I already miss you. Hey, Allison, what's up? What are you up to? Just waiting to see if old Magneto is going to come back on TV and threaten the world again. For my money, nothing is more entertaining than a psychotic megalomaniac. Have you ever met Magneto? Once or twice, but he doesn't scare me. What if the most powerful mutants in the world doesn't scare you at all? Well, okay, maybe just a little, but that's because the guy's crazy with a capital C. But I'm always up for a good scrap, even if it is Big Bad Magneto. <laughs> you sound like Wolverine. Yeah, I suppose I've picked up one or two of Wolvie's terms. Why's that? When I first met Wolverine, I saved his life. And then somehow I kind of became his unofficial sidekick. Anyway, the two are pretty close. I didn't think Wolverine liked anyone. Well, he hides it well. But deep down inside, Wolvie's just a big old teddy bear. With razor-sharp adamantium claws. Talk to you later, Jubilee. See you around, Allison.
Hello again, Allison. What can I do for you? Can you tell me who Magneto is? He is a mutant of inconceivable power. His ability to control electromagnetic fields allows him to realize almost any desire, from the slightest of whims to the grandest of schemes. But why is he so angry at humans? Magneto lost his family to the horrors of the Holocaust. He believes that... Isn't he right, though? I mean, humans hate mutants. They said so on the news. People fear what they don't understand, and humans do not understand mutants. Therefore, it is our responsibility to enlighten them. Why are the X-Men so nervous about Magneto? He's only one mutant. Magneto alone is a force to be reckoned with, but he also has the Brotherhood at his beck and call. The Brotherhood is pretty bad news, huh? Indeed they are. The Brotherhood of Mutants is a twisted cast of miscreants dedicated to Magneto's cause. So they're kind of like the X-Men, following Professor Xavier. The X-Men and the Brotherhood are polar opposites. The X-Men seek to promote understanding between mutants and humans. The Brotherhood seeks to rule non-mutants, and they will not hesitate to use violence to achieve their goal. Have you ever met Magneto? I've had the misfortune to cross paths with Magneto several times. They were most unpleasant experiences but there are many who find Magneto a very charismatic leader. None of the X-Men like Magneto, do they? Well, let's just say that some of us have seen the error of our ways. Oh my gosh, one of the X-Men was a member of the Brotherhood? Who? It's not my place to say, Allison. If that person wants you to know, then that person will have to tell you. Rumor has it that Juggernaut attacked the X-Mansion once. Juggernaut's mind was set on mur- Talk to you later, Beast. Come back any- Hello, Allison. How are you today? Hi, Miss Gray. Please, call me Jean. I always feel old when someone calls me Miss Gray. What are you up to? I'm getting Cerebro ready for the Professor. We're going to scan for the Brotherhood in hopes of finding the Mount. I've heard you have the same problem I do with controlling your powers. If you don't mind my asking, how do you handle it? It's a problem I wrestle with every day, Allison. You see, if I overextend my powers, I can lose myself and become... the Phoenix. What's the Phoenix? It's a destructive entity of awesome and frightening power. And because of it, I have to keep careful eye on how much energy I use. Sort of like when you were keeping the Arbiter afloat. Yes, exactly. I did only what was required. Any more, and I stood a good chance of losing control. 
seems like everyone here is looking for the mount. Yes, the Professor is adamant that we find the mount before anyone else does. I think Professor X is worried Magneto would be killed if someone else found his... Why would the Professor be concerned about Magneto's safety? Because they used to be friends. <laughs> no way! The Professor and Magneto were friends? Once upon a time, they were very close friends. Magneto even helped Professor Xavier build Cerebro. So what caused them to become enemies? They're not exactly enemies. They still respect each other. But I think they had a falling out over how to handle mutant-human relationships. Professor Xavier was too much of a pacifist for Magneto's tastes. See you later, Miss Gray. Uh, Jean. <laughs> Bye, Allison. <laughs>